Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is, are they the one? So we have to have somebody in mind for this one. Who do we want to know if they're the one? Before I get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. Today's pile one is the medium's toolbox. Pile two is the evidence of spirit. Pile three is messages from spirit. And pile four is the invisible shield. All right, so take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to with your person in mind, and we'll get the messages. Okay, Pile Ones, if you chose the medium's toolbox, here we go. We have Temperance, Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, the World. All right, so this feels like <laughs> somebody you're tired of waiting for. <laughs> Um, it, the Knight of Pentacles is like the slowest moving, moving Knight of the deck, but the King of, Pen I mean, the Knight of Pentacles do, is moving forward. They are sturdy. They're stable. They're reliable. You can count on them. You can lean on them. They're going to be there for you. So in a sense, they're really, really, you know, they would make a really good partner. However, they just move slow. So either you're bored, waiting for them to, you know, get a move on it, like ask me out or, you know, take the next step or, you know, let's move in together or let's, you know, pop the question already. Like, and, and it's starting to make you think like they're moving so slow. Like, is this what I want? Like, you want to change things. Like, you want to change it. But this is also saying have patience all right they they just move slow but that doesn't mean that they don't have the right intentions it's just I think you want a little more excitement in your life especially right now and you're afraid you're not going to get it but here comes the world right and the world is saying that a cycle is ending and a new one is beginning so this maybe cycle of boredom it's going to turn into a, a new cycle that's maybe moves a little bit faster. That's a little more exciting for you. So don't give up hope yet. All right. So this doesn't have to be somebody you're with. This could be somebody you're hoping for, right? So whatever your situation, this works. So let's get some more cards. Whew, sorry. Already, I asked, I was yawning so much yesterday that I asked my guides, please give me the energy to get through these couple readings I have to do today without yawning. And I guess that was my answer. Nope. <laughs> Love, deep affection and caring. This person loves you. Or they will love you. There's going to be some really deep feelings. It's beautiful. Are they the one? I'm saying yes. Dog far away. A distant friend is thinking about you. Now this could be your person if you guys are in separation or, or um, you know, maybe you haven't met this person yet. So they could be thinking about the person they want to be with. Okay. Um, or this could just be somebody who's um, who lives, you know, long distance from you, who is thinking about you and hoping that things are going your way and that you're getting what you want in life. And, you know, they could be praying for you or they could just say, I, I, I think it's time for a visit. I don't know. I, 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 I don't really feel it attached for some reason, but that doesn't mean it's not. 
So, and by attached, I mean like, I don't know if it's necessarily your person who feels that way. It could be somebody else. All right. We're, we're asking about your person, but it doesn't have to be your person who lives far away. So, let's see. Let's see what else we can get here. Epiphany, reveal your gifts. Uh, okay, so in other words, I think that's telling you if you're bored right now, I don't think you should give up on, on this person. I think that you should dig deep and figure out what you could do for yourself to make you happy. You know, um, it's so funny. I know this card doesn't really have much to do with the reading, but look, there's like things that like hobbies there, right? There's there's like uh, you know, something you could do that you could win a, a ribbon or a medal. There's art, artistic stuff here with the music and the, and the, and the things. So I think they want you to focus on you. You know, if this person isn't moving fast enough, well, get some hobbies, distract yourself a little bit, make yourself happy. And maybe if they see that, uh, you're happy doing things without them or doing things for yourself, that'll motivate them in some way a little bit. I'm not saying you necessarily will, but it could. I just think for your own mental health, you need to stop stressing about what you don't have. You know, get, focus on the things that you do have. Focus on things that you could be doing. Focus on your happiness. Moonlighting. Yeah, again, I think it's the same message. Like, take up a hobby or take a second job or do something for you that that you're not so focused on this person not being here yet or not not giving you the attention that you want. The, the there's something here where they they really want you to find happiness within you. Like, not be codependent. You know. Maybe that's what they're trying to teach you here is to not be codependent on somebody else for your happiness. Mystic Healer. Energy for flows through you um maybe you should just concentrate on spiritual enlightenment a little bit here i i think that's saying that you know you have the ability to heal you have the ability to heal yourself and you might have the ability to heal others so maybe that's a, a nice hobby or tool that you can have if you were to develop it more. I don't really think it's something, I don't think it this, like you have to heal from this. I just feel like they're just want you to stay in high vibration, stay positive, have good thoughts. Things are okay. Things are working out for you. They might be moving slower than you want, but you have deep love and affection from this person. So I, uh, things are going to turn out beautifully it's just a matter of being patient which is really sometimes hard to do and sometimes we get so bored that we can't be patient anymore and we give up on it and we walk away so I think that's what they're trying to avoid here is you doing that and you just distracting um, yourself with other things all right so start doing something for you Something that makes you feel good. Investigate. 
Again, I think this is about exploring. Think before acting. Ask questions. So maybe you do need to have a heart to heart with your person. You don't want to be pushy and push them away, but you maybe you need to have a heart to heart just so you feel better, so you know that the relationship is going to be going in the right direction. And that's if you're with somebody. And if you're not, be patient. This patience person's coming in, but again, investigate your options. You know, don't don't isolate yourself until you're finding the perfect person. If somebody asks you to do something, go do it. Even if it doesn't turn out to be, um, you know, your person or just investigate, explore. And there's the puppy ruining the video, as always. <laughs> he's not really a puppy, he's six, but he's my baby, so I call him a puppy. But he's annoying because he's very loud. Dove, take a leap of faith. All right. So that could be a couple different things here. Take a leap of faith when this person comes in. Know, know that your person, even if they move slow, know that they're them. Give them the chance. Take that leap. Take a leap to reach out to them, to have a conversation with them, to ask them where they stand. Take a leap of going out with your friends and spending more time or, take you know, uh, dating even. Whatever it means to you. All right? Just take risks. You know, little ones. You don't have to take major, gigantic risks, but you could take little risks. You know, uh, to to get yourself feeling good, feeling better, feeling not so bored. I don't know what he sees, but he's not done yet. All right, here we go. We have busy transcending BS. Pick one thing beyond your control and let it go just like that. All right. So I think in this instance, they're saying that you can't control your person. They're going to move at the pace that they're going to move at. You might be able to like light a little bit of a fire under their butt, but not a big one. Like, I don't think they're going to be affected by it. They're going to do things in their own timing. So, again, don't sweat the small stuff here. Just concentrate on you and what's going on and, and know that you have a, a beautiful love here or one that's coming in. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, but he's he's talking right now. Veto. Ace of Earth, Ace of Pentacles. Again, again with the Pentacles. Like it's a new beginning, but it might be a slow new beginning. I'm going to read from the book on what this one has to say Ace of Earth. I recognize the many forms of abundance and plenty. I align myself with success. I can generate gold from the resources I have at my fingertips. So you can make something really beautiful with what you already have. I make an impact. I, wait, the essence of prosperity is taking form in the material world. So this is saying like you have everything you need. You might not be realizing it, but you do. You just got to transform it or transcend it a little bit, right? Change it. We want it. We want something to change. So find a way to, to change it, but not changing somebody else, changing you, the way you see things, you, the way you, you know, your perspective of things or things that you do for you. Okay, one thing we can't do is change anybody else. 
We can ask them to. We can nudge them and guide them. Um, But if they don't want to change, they're not going to. So we don't have control over that. So let's focus on what we do have control of and, uh, you know, work with what we got. All right. We have the shooting star. The kitty. Be independent. It's okay to be independent. We don't want to be codependent, right? You're going to get a wish come true. Maybe cut ties with some things that, some negative feelings, things that aren't serving us. You're at a crossroads, but you still have peace here. You still have harmony with that dove on that cross. So things are okay. You're going in the right direction. This is your person, right? Somebody's very attractive. Either you both are or one or the other one just is very attracted to the other. A star. You guys are going to shine, right? Just try to do what's good for, for both of you, right? Don't give up on this. Uh, T-Rex. Don't. T-Rex. What can we get from T-Rex? Like I, I was, what I was going to say is like, don't. Uh, charge in like caveman style being all alpha you know demanding things to go your way like be flexible okay so that is what I have for you pile one give the video a like subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment because all of those things really do help me and I, I really do appreciate you for it till next time love and light Hi, Pile 2. If you chose Evidence of Spirit, this one's yours. Let's go. Here we go. Nine of Wands. The Star. King of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. And Queen of Wands. Well, how about that? Yes. Are they the one? Yes. Yes, they're the one. If you want them to be, they're the one. Absolutely. Kind of feel like your person's the king of pentacles. Somebody who might be older, more financially stable than you are. Somebody who just um, wants to take care of you. They might move a little slow, but um, they're, they're, they're going to really show their appreciation they're going to really sh take care of you. Like in a way, like they're going to be nice. They're going to do nice things. They see you as the queen of wands. They see you as fiery and passionate and somebody they just adore. And you're going to do no wrong in their eyes. Like they're going to see you as this is my person. This is who I want to be with. That I want to make this person happy. I hope that I can. Yeah. You're their wish come true. Absolutely. You are their passion. They are going to um, do everything to make you happy. So they're the type of person that's going to be like, if I, if this person mentions that they want something, they're going to get it for you. They're going to, they're going to get it for you. They're going to keep track. They're going to keep tabs. They're going to spoil you. I just feel it. Because you're... You're going to you're gonna make them feel alive. You know, they're going to live kind of through you a little bit. Um, you're everything they're not. So, like, you're, you're... I feel like you're driven. And you're... Like, you know what you want. You go for your dreams. And if, and if you go for it and you... And it's not what you thought it was. You don't have a problem. You could switch gears and you're like, all right, now this is my new passion. Like you have like this energy that they don't have. Uh, so you balance them out in a way. And they're going to make, they're going to do everything to make you happy. So are they the one? I think so. I really do. Are you with this person or do you want to be with this person? Um... I think I would want to be with this person <laughs> if I were you. Um, I, I don't think I have a, as much energy as the Queen of Wands does, but 
Um, you know, if you do, good, good. This, I think this dynamic is nice. Here we go. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Absolutely. I think there's strong passion here. I think it's partly for you, but partly for them. I think that they are, you know, they're not as fiery as you are. Well, they're not fiery at all, I don't think. Um, but that doesn't mean they don't love deeply. That you're not, you don't affect them deeply. Woman. That can mean a couple different things. You could be a woman. They could be a woman. doesn't matter. Um, but you want to know what I'm kind of feeling from that? And I don't know. It's kind of specific, so it might not be for everyone. I'm feeling like somebody's mom might be an issue. Like uh, your person could be a mama's boy. And... Uh, You know, that could be an issue later on in life you know, as this progresses or if it's already progressed to that point where your mom like you, you got to put their mom you got to deal with their mom because their mom is their mom but you got to kind of put her in her place like you're not going to be number one in my king of pentacles energy anymore I am now I'm taking over I'm the queen you're somebody, your family, we have to deal with you, but I'm the queen. Remember your place. And I have a feeling like this, if that's the case, if this is somebody's mom, they're going to buck. They're going to buck that somebody's, you guys are the king and queen, regardless of gender, it doesn't matter, but you're the king and the queen. So whoever this woman is, if this is your scenario, whoever's mom this person is, they're like... They feel important. They, you know, they, they feel important. And you're going to be like, uh-uh. You're no longer as important as I am. You're still important, but I'm, I need to be number one. And they're going to be like, no, I, I came first. I birthed this child. I'm number one. So it, it could be an issue. that I mean, I was getting that. But like I said, it doesn't have to be for everybody. I don't know. Let's get some cards. Couldn't find the deck I wanted. It was to the side. Doable. The key's within your grasp. So even if that's that scenario where this is somebody's mom, it's, this is still doable. This relationship's still worth it. I definitely think they're still your person. Words of abundance. Just stay positive. I think that this would be a very successful union. I think you guys would have lots of abundance together. I, I think that if you stay positive and you don't talk negatively or you don't think negatively, um, you know, things will work out for you. The, the king already has everything working out for him. You know, he does. He, he just has the Midas touch. So I think that's going to rub off on you as well. So even if this is somebody who gives you an issue, it'll work out. You'll, you'll find a balance. Finding sanctuary. <coughs> Sorry. That I think is the mailman. Opening. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Opening to your spiritual source, finding sanctuary. So I really do think that your person's home to you or will be home. They'll be your safe space. They'll be your sanctuary. They'll be the person that you can go to, who you can count on, who will be there for you, who will support you. I I really like your person. I really do. So I, I think this is absolutely, yes, they're the one. So let's get a few more. Let's finish it out. 
and don't mind the puppy. Uh, there's nothing I could do about them. <laughs> Nature communication, flower energies, fairy energies, and elemental messengers. What does this have to do with anything? I'm like looking at this card and I'm like, give me the message. I'm like staring at this card's eyes. And um, I, I just think things are going to blossom and bloom for this relationship. Like I really think that it's going to turn into something pretty beautiful that's a nice message I'll take I'll take that message from that card thank you <laughs> you know Vito is like part husky part golden retriever part, so part lab he's got all the the dogs that make noise uh, a part basset hound basset hounds howl at that fire trucks and stuff right so he's he's got the voice so I apologize for him. Al, follow your intuition. You know, so if you're questioning this, I think you already know the answer, but trust your intuition. It won't fail you in this case. It hardly ever fa fails you <laughs> when you trust your intuition. Very rarely do you interpret it wrong, but sometimes you can. Um, but your intuition's spot on. The truth will set you free, but it will first piss you off. So, um, ah, maybe that has to do with the woman. I don't know what's going to make you mad. I, well, look, you're the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a little fiery. So that means you might have a little bit of a temper. So I think there might be, you know, your person, like say my, my, example was correct and it's your situation your king is going to be so laid back like that's my mom i love her she took care of me now i feel like it's my place to take care of her we need to include her should we need to make her feel part of the family and you're like yeah but she needs to change this and she needs to stop doing that and she needs to butt out and blah 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 and you're like all fiery and, and your your king is like but it's okay it'll be fine <laughs> So it's like, you're going to understand what he's saying. You're going to understand where he's coming from, but it's going to tick you off. Like, it's going to not make you happy because it's not what you want to hear right now because you're really mad at, at something. <laughs> so that's like kind of the scenario I see, or it's at least an example. It doesn't have to be your exact situation, but you, you understand the card now a little bit more. Here we go. At least the way I was getting it. It's my interpretation of it or my feelings from it. Three of water, three of cups. Reason to celebrate. Joy and excitement flow among all those gathered. I embrace being part of something larger than myself. <laughs> there could be a third party, right? It could be you, your person, and their mom, <laughs> or your mom for that. Um, but it's, you know, you're part of a family now. Like, it's it's what you got to deal with, right? You could set boundaries, and you can keep people at arm's length, but can't change who our moms are. It's time to delight in the camaraderie as I experience the greater whole that is my community or team. <laughs> They want you to get along. They want you to appreciate this. We buoy, buoy, <laughs> buoy. We buoy each other. <laughs> Couldn't get that out. And play together as we co-create. The buoy is something that floats on the water, you know. We are friends, family, and companions. Sharing our experiencing experiences. It is time to remember we must accept each other as we are with both shadow and light within. So there you have it. I think that's exactly what they want you to do is just accept everybody for who they are, both the good and the bad, the light and the dark. We all have 
the yin and yang within us. So we're not the only ones who have both good and bad in us. So try to just accept everybody for who they are and love them unconditionally, which isn't always easy, especially if you're dealing with a (laughs) monster-in-law. But I I kind of, I'm not really getting monster, too too bad of monster in law vibes. Maybe you know, just a a tough mother in law. <laughs> anyway, let me pull you some charms. Try and ignore the pup. But he could be say, "Listen to my mom. She's telling you right." <laughs> actually, uh, he's my grandpa. Actually, lion. Be strong. Be brave. This is a beautiful relationship. When you guys are are alone together, which for the most part, you know, 90% of the time you're going to be. You know, you're going to only have to deal with somebody else 10% of the time. So just be brave and deal with it. You can do it. Um, Because believe it or not, you're, you're, I think your person's, I think this, if this is a mother-in-law of some sort, they're very protective. So they're going to do what's right. Maybe what's, I don't know. I'm just going to leave. I don't want to argue with you. <laughs> Even though you, you're not really arguing back with me. But um, everything's going to be fine. You, you're perf- you're protected. Uh, this relationship's protected. Um, you have the dragon. So usually I see dragons as the phoenix rising from the ashes. But... I think that in this case, the dragon's bringing you good luck. I don't know why, but that's what I, I'm getting from it. Just remember you're, you're a queen. Wear that crown of yours. Or you're the king. It doesn't matter. Roles can be reversed. Wear your crown. All right? But be the leader that you would want somebody else to be as well. But just keep moseying along. It's, you know, go with the flow. It's, it's, it's going to happen. And it's going to be fine. Everything's going to keep flowing forward. So if you have a hiccup or an is- a situation, an issue, like the energy keeps flowing. So you'll get past it eventually. Just realize that. Then you got October. So I don't know if that's somebody's birthday or a specific date or an anniversary or something. Or just something very significant could be happening this October. So anyway, that's what I have for you, Pile 2. Are they the one? Yep. I'm saying yes. You can make your own choice. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose messages from spirit, this is your reading. Six of Wands, Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. All right, so this feels pretty specific. This might not be your reading if it doesn't resonate. So. This definitely feels like you're not with this. This ended. This is somebody you ended things with or somebody who ended them with you. It was it was over with. Dead done over. You want them back. You want them back. You're trying to manifest them back. But I actually think it could work. Are they the one? Yeah, I think they they could be. I don't think they have to be, but I think they could be. I do feel like they care about you. And I do feel like they kind of want to make a, a romantic gesture to you. They they notice you. Like you are, they think about you. They see you. If this is somebody that you still see, like if it's part of your friend group or something that you still run into or you still do things with or uh, maybe you work with this person, they still see you. Maybe you go to the gym where they go. And so they see you at the gym. So I, I still think that they see you, they recognize you, 
and you're still on their thoughts, like they're still attracted to you. They still have some kind of feeling, romantic feeling towards you. Here's the thing. They're only coming in as the page. You're coming in as the queen, but they're coming in as the page. So for me, it's like they, they might want to make a romantic offer, but they're only making it with half a cup. The cup's not full yet. Now, does that mean the cup can't be full eventually? Yeah, it, no. I mean, it can be full eventually. But I think the energy right now, what I'm picking up, is they only have half a cup. So you knew you need to decide, is that worth it for you? And I'm not judging you if you say yes. Have, I'll take half a cup because eventually that cup, I'll make sure it gets full. Or, you know, I'll work hard that they fill that cup. Or you could be like, no, half a cup's not what I want. I want that cup overflowing. And if it's not, then this isn't worth it. So are they the one? They could be. It depends on if they're going to be willing to give you 100%, if they're going to be all in. See, I, I'm at a stage where I'm, you know, I'm in my 50s. So for me, I'm either all in or all out. Sorry, there's no half a cup for me. But if you're younger, or even if you are in your, it doesn't matter, age does not matter. I don't even know why I'm putting it there. But, you know, if you're at a point where you're like, I'm bored and, and nothing's going on, I'm willing to accept to have a cup right now. That's okay. I'm not telling you not to. I'm just saying, make sure you take a look at whether you'll be satisfied with or not, with that or not. And if you can be, then more power to you. Good go for it and will this person eventually give you a full cup it, the the possibility is here but we're gonna have to see so let's get some more cards i hope all that made sense to you successful outcome to your problems well there you go that's a big yes for me Romance, celebration, and party. So this person could come around. They could step up into the night position. I, I think they're, they're teetering between the page and the night. But we want them a king. We're a queen. We want them to be a king. We want their equal, or at least another queen. We want, we want equal or better energy here from them. Right? So that's what we're hoping for. And I think they're getting there. They're just not there completely yet. So... I, I like those two cards that just came out. That, that gives me hope. Gives me a little more hope than just this. Make peace with your past. I told you this is somebody that ended it. So I think somebody needs to make peace with, the, with, with what happened in the past and realize that I don't think either one of you will make the same mistake again. I think that you learned from it. So I think Spirit's saying, make peace with it because it's time to move on. Figure it out. Release jealousy. Mm. All right. So somebody's got to make peace with the past and release the jealousy. Uh-huh. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire you rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So let's not be jealous of anybody or anything. Release the past. That makes sense. Release the jealousy. All right. Valiant courage. Take action with passion. So somebody 
needs to be all in here. Take action with passion. Like make it a passionate offer. I I actually think that your person might be uh, trying to muster their courage to come forward. Or maybe you are. But I think somebody is. I think somebody's trying to gather the courage here to make some kind of move or advancement. Becoming braver. There we go. Growing stronger. Fresh perspective. So somebody might have a different point of view than they used to have. Maybe they're, they're understanding things better. Knowing what they want. And, uh, you know, becoming braver. I love that. Money, find a way to abundance. Um, all right, so find a way to abundance. It's not really about money, I don't think. Um, you know, find a way to, to come together, to, to bring love into the situation, to, to find love, to, to find that abundance. Is that for you or your person? But I think that's what's coming in for you. Finding finding love again. <laughs> Carpe diem. YOLO. You only live once. So it's saying, why waste time? Why not take the chance? Seize the day. Find your courage. So I think this is either the point that your person's getting to, or maybe it's a point where you're getting to, or, you know, and they're just nudging you here. Seize the day. Make the move. Reach out. Let them know how you feel. Three of fire, three of wands, waiting for the perfect opportunity. There's never a perfect opportunity. I mean, there could be, but like, it's like, why wait? Why waste time? That's how I'm feeling from that. But let's see. I am on the right path towards my success. I have an abundance of opportunities before me. I need to trust th myself for I can make good choices for myself and my co create and co create situations and relationships that are in harmony with my heart's desire. So, again, somebody's getting ready. Somebody's summoning the courage to um, make a move. Somebody's starting to trust themselves. Are they the one? I think so. I think so. I'd, I'd give them a shot. Let me pull your charms. Luck is on your side. A pleasant surprise might be coming in. I think your person might have learned a lesson. Or maybe you did. You learned from this breakup. You guys could be survivors here. Like You guys are like can go the distance. Sea turtles are fascinating warrior warriors. You know, they're just peaceful warriors. They survive. And they live a very long time. So I kind of feel like this relationship would live a very long time. It would last. It would last. Finally, you got the reef, which tells me things are going to come full circle. Maybe this ending's leading you back to the beginning. I don't know. You got to do what's right for you, though, Pile 3. But I'm giving, giving this person a yes. But you do what's best. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. 
Hi, Pile 4. If you chose the Invisible sheer Shield, then this one is your reading. Let's see if there, there's one for you. Nine of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Justice. Judgment. Ten of Pentacles. I gotta say yes. Oh, I gotta say yes. Um... Ten of Pentacles just really threw it over the edge for me. I, Nine of Cups is a wish coming true. So I do feel like your person is wishing that um, this could happen. But I do feel like they're holding on to the past. They could be holding on to you, not like not letting you go if you are a past person. Or they're still holding on to something they need to release. But they want justice. They want balance in their life. They want you guys to come into alignment. So... And justice is a legal matter too sometimes. So they could want to marry you. They could want to sign those papers. I think judgment's here. I think they've beaten themselves up a little bit here. They've judged themselves. And maybe they've judged you too. Uh, a little too harshly, I feel. But I feel like they're learning from it. Or they have learned from it. And they're rising above it. They're rising above what happened in the past. And they've learned and they've grown and they're ready for this. They, they see you as the Ten of Pentacles. They see you as something like they're everything. So is this somebody you dated before? It's possibly. Is this somebody you're dating now? Possibly. <laughs> um, they're just, they just need to release something here. Some, something they're still holding on to a little too tightly. They got to release it. But I absolutely think that this could be the one for you. Especially with that Ten of Pentacles. My favorite card. Love it. I know I say it every time it comes out. But I don't care because I love it. Getting a headache. I don't know why. Announcement. Maybe they're going to announce to you or to announce to the world that they want to marry you or that you're their person or at least they have something to say. They, they, I feel like they have something to say and they're going to say it to like, not only, maybe it is only you, they're going to make an announcement. I don't know. I just think that you're going to be hear, hearing from them, but you're not going to believe the next card that came out. You have to ring. A marriage will take place. I, I do feel like this person wants to marry you. And that could be their announcement. That's kind of exciting. That's really kind of exciting. So, I'm happy for you. Everything in perfect balance. Look at that. And you have the justice card, which is balance. Alignment. I really do think that they are trying to bring you guys back together if you're separated. Or to make this happen if you're with them. Like They, they want to balance the scale here. They want to feel safe and secure with you. They want you as your person. As their person. And they're willing to take the step. They're willing to ask you to marry them. Or vice versa. You're willing to ask them. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. So anything that was stopping this before from happening, it's like they cleared the energy for you. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are now lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement in your projects. 
Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. So this is very possible, if especially if this was a breakup. Like, you guys can come back together. Like, there's nothing blocking you anymore. You guys can come into alignment. This is beautiful. And if you're together, then, then like, I think, like, nothing's stopping you guys now from making that deep commitment. All the obstacles are lifted. You guys can get married. Desert passage. Trust that there's a divine plan. You know, everything happens for a reason. So even if this was a breakup, it, you guys were meant to. Maybe you needed to get clarity. Maybe you need to understand each other. You know, and maybe you needed to understand yourself and realize what you were doing wrong. But there is a plan. And I kind of feel like the plan is for you guys to be together, to learn and grow together now. To come back into alignment. For somebody to get their justice. Clock, time, pressure, and a rush. Somebody feels like... It, I... I uh, I think that's doubt. I think they're feeling like it might be too late. It's not too late. Time's a human thing, not a spiritual thing. It's not too late. Potential. Think big for your future. The potential is here. Like this could be the potential to for the rest of your life. Like this could be the person for the rest of your life. The potential is here. They want you to think big. They want you to be positive. They want you to visualize this happening. They want this for you and for them. This is a big yes. Give that up. There's better stuff on the horizon. So let go of the negative. Let go of it. Anything that's holding you back, give it up. Think positively. You're not running out of time. Everything's okay. Everything happens in divine timing. So this is your person. Love it. Believe it. Give up all the negative. You don't need it. You got something better here. Got something better on the horizon for you. I think it's a long lasting relationship. I think it's your forever person. So, yes, I'm absolutely all for this. Ace of Water, Ace of Cups, new love, or love begins again. Let's. Ace of Water. Where are you? I am filled with love from spirit and joyously let it flow out to others where it fertilizes the seed of co-creation. Love gives me hope, shining brilliant light on all the possibilities available to me. I am optimistic about bringing dreams into being. Spirit always informs me and my guides, allowing me to illuminate the darkest of places. A new beginning in love. There's a new beginning in love here. Absolutely. Pull your few charms.
Don't hold on to the past too tightly. Let it go. That's either for you or your person. Your angels want this to happen. They're guiding it. They're supporting it. Right? This is your person. This is somebody who could be your anchor for you. Your stability. Somebody who will be there for you. Somebody you can count on. Somebody who's reliable. Sweep away the old. Make room for the new. All right? Wear your crown. Be brave and courageous. Stand tall. Believe in good things. Stay sweet. We have the whale. The whale is about inner truth and wisdom and being grateful. It's also about communication and protection. But it's also magnificence, hugeness. You know, this could be huge. This could be magnificent. There's a lot of love here. And this really could bloom and blossom if you give it the chance. Somebody's birthday could be in July. I don't know why I'm feeling feeling that's a birthday for some reason. But if not, it's just, uh, I don't know, July's an important month somehow. I think it's a birthday. But anyway, that's what I have for you, Pile 4. Give the video a like, subscribe to the ch channel, and leave me a message or comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.